Hello, everybody. We're here once again at TCPL at Home, Thomas Crane Public Library in Quincy, Massachusetts. My name is Paul. I'm one of the librarians at Thomas Crane Public Library. And here today to talk with my colleague, Eileen, about Udemy. Eileen, how are you today? Hey, Paul. How are you today? I'm doing just fine. Um, you know, it seems like there's always uh, a new database uh, that the library has or, or some, maybe a database we've had for a while and people are just not familiar with. But Udemy is actually something that's coming in to kind of supersede a popular database we had, lynda.com, and it does a very similar thing. Um, do you want to give us a little bit of an idea of what our uh, community can expect from Udemy? Uh, yep, uh, Udemy is offered by Gale, one of um, the companies that offer a lot of different databases we have, so it might be a little familiar field to you guys. Um, it, uh, it is free, like all of our databases. Uh, it's for Quincy residents, and all you need is your library card number and a Microsoft email or a Gmail account. So uh, those are the things you'll need to get started with uh, Udemy, and then you could zip right in, and there are tons of um, video tutorials for you. There are tech, design, pr uh, productivity, personal interests, a lot, lot of good stuff in there. Uh, how many courses are there uh, actually total? There's quite a few, right? Uh, more than 4,000. Wow. So that'll keep you busy for a good long time, I think. So. Well, you know, unfortunately, we uh, had to give up our subscription to lynda.com, but um, we look through a lot of different databases, the librarians at Thomas Crane, and we really think people will like using Udemy. I, I personally tried it out myself and, and found it to be a really, really useful tool for learning. So what we're going to do today, though, is kind of uh, we're going to share your screen, right, Eileen? And you're going to give us a bit of a walkthrough of how to use Udemy and access it, correct? Yes, let's uh, do that. Let me share my screen and then we can take a look at the different ways you can access it on our website. So let me do over here. Whoopee. Sharing the screen. All right, share the screen. <laughs> All right, there we are. All right, you see it? Okay, great. All right, so this is our website, uh, thomascranelibrary.org. And there's a couple, uh, three different ways you can access Udemy on our website. Um, right now, the easiest way is to click on the rotating image right here on the main part of the website. Um, it'll rotate eventually, but I'm gonna kind of see if I can get it to rotate with these numbers here. There, it's rotating. Yeah, there's some numbers down there in the corner. Yeah. I think it's not quite on the screen, but if you... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm hovering over four, and then it brings up the red image of Udemy. So I'm gonna click on that. That is one way you can get to it. It brings you to this um, this little uh, informational page uh, that tells you all about what it offers, the link to get to it, and also about the app that it offers that we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, so that's one way of doing it, of getting to Udemy. Another way, once this picture gets um, changed out for freshness and everything, we can go to events and classes and then go to adult education. This is also a good page to kind of remind people about. Um, that has a lot of information about learning to read, learning English, computer classes in Quincy, learning computers online. But right here, kind of in the middle, it says Udemy free video classes, and the link is right here. So uh, that's another way to access it. Um, the third way is to do it on research databases. So I'm gonna click on that. Uh, this is also a good reminder for people, the database page. We have so many databases, and I hope people are taking advantage of that. Uh, arts and Humanities, History, Biography, Genealogy, um, but databases for children who need to for learning and everything. Um, so yeah, we try ahead. to touch on a lot of different subjects, so yeah. it's definitely a place uh, that's worth your time to spend looking through what we offer. Most definitely. Um, newspapers is a good one, too. We offer tons of newspapers online. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, Careers Education Testing here near the top right. Zoom right down to Udemy. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So this is the page you'll see whether you choose to click the, the page or with the image or the databases page or the adult education page, this is where you'll be. Um, so let's see. What does Udemy offer? Up-to-date courses, over 4,000. Um, learn anywhere at any time. So I'm going to click here, sign in, create a Udemy account. So this is where it is going to uh, 
prompt you for your Google email, your Gmail, or a Microsoft email. So I'm gonna. And, and we should emphasize that uh, you do need to have one of those accounts, either a Microsoft, an Outlook account, a Hotmail account, or a Gmail account. We know a lot of people have those, but some of you might not, and you do need one of those to access this resource. Right. Uh, yep, um, G they're also free, and you can make as many Google accounts, Gmail accounts as you'd like. So if you wanna make one, you know, go ahead, it's fairly easy. So we're gonna click on there. Um, so it'll you'll bring you up to my uh, Gmail, and this is Tommy Crane's Gmail that we're using today. Uh, the staff email, uh, and it'll say, "Do you allow Gale Cengage?" Gale Cengage is the company that offers you to me, so don't be alarmed by seeing that. That's perfectly fine. Um, so you click allow. Okay. So terms of use policy, we all agree to that. Um, so it's asking for a birth year. It does say that you have to be at least 13 to use Udemy. So it's just, this is just a confirmation that you are um, older than uh, 13. So I'm gonna go ahead and click 1990. Let's just say that. Um, I'm just gonna not put my real year there. I was gonna say you should do 1882, right? <laughs> for, for... Something like, I am 130 <laughs> years old. Um, so now it's bringing us over. This is interesting because normally when I would click um, the first link to Udemy, it would prompt for the uh, barcode number for your library card. I didn't see it this time, which is odd, but probably because I've been playing around with it. So um, just to let you guys know when you're first, um, before you even click the Microsoft or the Gmail account, you'll see a, a little place there to put in your library card number. So definitely have your library card number um, on hand, ready to go. Uh, but you don't need your pen so just the library card number at Quincy resident and the email all right you and me for business i'm gonna get started so it'll ask you what kind of skill sets you're interested in oh. yeah it's quite thorough with this section yeah. if i remember when i signed up most certainly so i enjoy communication essentials so that's my favorite thing leadership digital marketing and, and so, what this is trying to do is curate a selection of content for you. If you click something or forget to click something, you're going to be able to still access everything that they have. So you don't have to sweat this part too much. Right. She's just kind of like, what are you trying to figure out what you're interested in? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. What you're interested in, oh, difficult conversations, cultural differences. <laughs> so a few other things are trying to get, um, figure out what you're interested in. Yeah. So I'm gonna click a few things, ooh, fun. All kinds of things I'm interested in. All right, so I'm gonna, after those two um, screens, now it's gonna curate a few suggestions for you. Ooh. So we'll see up here in the toolbar, a few different options. If you didn't see something you're interested in in the curated part, go to IT or leadership or data science, something like that. There's also the uh, search toolbar, which is common in all websites that you can kind of search for any kind of topic and see if they have that. And we also have here categories. So look, we have, it's, it's very similar to Lunda in this way that I remember we had a lot of data science, design, marketing, things like that. Let's see, data science, let's see. I'm trying to find, office productivity would be very handy if you're interested in word processing, they have Word, things like that, Office, Google Docs, things that a typical office worker might want to brush up on. So email, everything like that. So I'm gonna click on one here. Once I hover, hover over it, it'll tell you how many, 100, 602 lectures, 31 total hours. So it gives you kind of an overview of what you might expect when you enroll for the class. And so all of these classes, it says enroll now, but what you're doing is, enrolling in a class that's um, asynchronous. It, it's not going to be an ongoing, you know, semester-based thing. It's just a collection of courses. That's right, isn't it? That's right. It's totally on your own pace. Um, you can go as fast and as slow as you want. Even when you log out, when you log back in through your Microsoft or your Google account, um, it will remember where you left off. So you don't have to worry about, you know, what was the last thing I remember and things like that. So that's pretty handy. 
Very cool. Um, so one question I have, this all looks great. You're doing it from your uh, PC. Is there an app that we could use with you to yes, me? There is. So um, both uh, Apple users and Android users can download the app from their store, either the Google Play Store or um, the App Store for Apple. Uh, you would have to search for Udemy for business. So definitely add for business on that. Um, so download that. Then you, uh, it would prompt you to search for the library. So you would search for Thomas Crane Public Library there. And then at that point, you'll have to do the process of uh, logging in with your Microsoft or your Google. So that's something to consider. Um, so uh, yeah. And, um, and well, and the other thing I, I noticed yeah. was, like you said, that, that one course alone had 600 mm -hmm. sections. Um, so if I'm going through this course and I stop, log out and log back in again, I, it's going to hold my place? Yeah, definitely. So yeah, it would be difficult to remember where you were in all these mini lectures. Yeah, 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 definitely. So that that's really super great information about Udemy. I think um, one of the best ways to learn this resource, now that you've kind of been introduced to it, is to get in there and start using it. So we encourage everyone to do that. And I think that is going to get us close to our time. Um, here we are, Thomas Crane Public Library. Uh, you can come to thomascranelibrary.org. You can call us at 617-376-1102. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Of course, that uh, what we were showing you today was Udemy, and we encourage you all to use it. And if you have any questions about it, let us know. We're happy to help. Eileen, thank you so much for showing uh, you to me to everyone today. Well, thank you, Paul. All right, take care. Take Bye. care. Bye.